Hey guys, uh, I am here to bring you a short video today about hotbars and HUD placements and setting up for controllers. Alright, so this is what your screen would look like generally if you're starting on either PC, uh, PS4. Now, the one thing that might change for you, uh, on PC anyways, it starts off on mouse and keyboard. And you'll see in the bottom right corner, you have this system menu here. Now, if you have a controller plugged in already, what you're going to be doing is clicking your start button or uh, center buttons, the one on the right. Okay. Here, you just go over to system, character configuration, and click that. Okay. Now, the other way is if you start off here, you can hit L1 and R3. It gives you a mouse on your own, um, especially if you're on PS4. You can go ahead and click those buttons. This is uh, very difficult to use, though, so I highly recommend not using that. Um, all right, so we're on gamepad. Cool. Right, I'm going to ignore all of these settings for a second. I'm going to focus on uh, hotbars and, and uh, controller setup. So, a lot of this is personal preference. Uh, the big things that I would say have selected are display cast times, recast times. Please display recast times. So if you look at the button I just clicked here, there's no number for recast time. You see the, you see the clock moving around, but um, it's a lot nicer personally uh, if I see that number ticking down so I know exactly when it's coming off cooldown. Um, hide unassigned slots. I like to have these hidden, um, especially for hotbars, not cross hotbar, which is what this is at the bottom here. That's a cross hotbar, not a hotbar. Uh, so they, they, uh, differentiate in, in FF14. Okay. So most of this is not going to apply to you because you're using the cross hotbar, not the hotbar. Okay, so here, display only cross hotbar. I like to keep this applied, not pet hotbar and cross hotbar. All right, we will get to that in a minute because I do actually put an, a uh, hotbar on my HUD so that I can see certain things. Um, again, this is personal preference. If your mount has special actions, you can uh, use those special actions when, when you have this clicked. But it's nice. It's fun. It's just a option. All right, sharing. This is very important. Um, pertaining to the custom section over here, when you have one of these selected. Okay, I'll get to that in a second. So I do not have hotbar 8. Now, cross hotbar 8 clicked. Right. I highly suggest no one click that. <laughs> Take it off. And I just share uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. Which I never use those anyways. Um, do not share 1, 2, and 8. So these hotbars are what you're going to be using whether you're crafting or gathering or, or uh, running a, a, a DPS class of some type, healer, etc, etc. Um... When you're clicking through your hotbars, you not, do not want to share these with other jobs. Okay. Um, again, we are on PC or PS4 with a controller, so these hotbars don't really matter to us. We're not going to be clicking with our mouse button. Okay. Cross. This is cross hotbar. Enable cross hotbar, yes. Always display cross hotbar, yes, please. <laughs> display hotbar help. So what this does... Is going to put up all the names of your of your skills. Uh, it's very very useful if you are new to the game, if you're unsure of what something is called, if you don't know where sprint is, or you're not sure of of what the what the icon means. This is very helpful. Um, I do not use pet hotbar. You can if you would if you like. All that means is when you're clicking through. Oops. Uh. Yeah. Whatever. When you're clicking through your hotbars, there'll be a pet hotbar. Use mount hotbar, same thing as what we talked about before. Uh, replace. Okay. 
I use the mount hotbar. Enable duty action input. Yes. Okay. So what this means is uh, in certain instances, you will have to use uh, either left trigger L2 or right trigger R2 and then pressing uh, a three button. So L3 or R3 at the same time. Um, cannot display that right now just simply because uh, simply because there is nothing that I can actually click. And this, again, in the HUD is where it will be situated. And we'll get to that in a second. All right, so back to this. Uh, duty action display control guide. Um, I do not like this personally. I don't think it's necessary, but if you see down here, there's a little A, B, X, Y, and the little D-pad here. Um, and of course, on a PS4 controller, it would have uh, the circle square, etc. Um, visually, it seems pretty obvious where which buttons are pressing what. Okay. So I'll keep this on for just now. Um, transparency. Uh, I do not have any of these set. I prefer to have these uh, very visible sometimes when you have uh, your graphics pumped up and you have... Um, your settings, so like effects like this, if you have these uh, very high and showing a bunch, it's challenging to see what's on your hotbar. All right, um, here's where it gets really tricky. And this is again, very personal preference. Um, hold, cross hopper controls. Now hold just simply means when you press and you hold the L2 or R2, it just holds up in that. So you can use all these skills and so on. All right, toggle. When I just tap my L, L1, uh, sorry, L2, it, it displays it and it holds it up. So I can move around and press all those buttons, okay, without having to do anything. If I press it again, it goes away. Now, let's go to this one. If I press this button, Notice it goes back to the first hotbar. Do it again. Uh, what do we have? Let's do this one. This instantly goes back to the, to the first hotbar. All right. Um, this, that is very convenient for some people. Uh, I would say mess with these to find out what is best for you. you. Just go into dungeons. Just try out different cross hotbar settings um mixed uh so this one here just you just tap it once it'll go up and if you hold it it'll also work all right i prefer hold um this is just personal preference again highly highly suggest trying trying out these different uh setups all right these cross hotbars Okay, this is where it gets really complicated um, and, and kind of confusing. So you notice uh, I have multiple abilities right here. And I'm going to put some of these on hotbar 8. And it'll, it'll make sense in a second. I'm going to put... let's put this one. And we'll put this. Okay. Alright, so uh, let me explain how I'm doing that. Uh, R1 shows your hotbar menu. You go to, to first or second, whatever you want to change. Okay. I'm holding down R2, hitting select, and hitting the hitting the, the ability I want to change. Go back and go to the hotbar you would like to select to place it on. And same, situ uh, same uh, sequence, R2 or R uh, L2 and placing it down. You can always just change it over here or here. This is all while holding R2 and just hitting different um, different locations. Now, and then again select to get out of that. Going back to the hotbar settings. Uh, final menu is going to have a lot to do with these. All right, so you notice a cross hotbar and W cross hotbar. And this is hot, ex expanded is cross hotbar and uh, W is cross hop, W cross hotbar. 
Okay, now this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enable W, and notice it shows all of this, okay? All right, so that shows four different buttons on each side. So if I go down to enable directional buttons, it shows all buttons on e either side. Now, to get to those, I have to double click R2 or L2. And I'm still holding down because we are, our, uh, our play style is holding, okay? Toggle and mixed will do the same um, as as what I said before. So toggle, you have to tap tap, and not, you don't have to hold anything down. Hold, you tap tap and hold it, and you can use that, that ability. Tap tap, hold it, use that ability. Um, there is also, if I just go here, um, I do not use return to cross hotbar. Um, I, I find it, for, for me, it messes me up more than anything. Um, it doesn't always return, it doesn't always, uh, it doesn't always stay up as long as I like it to. And there are, it's very situational. Um, if you are a casual player, this might be very convenient for you. Um, position cross hopper separately, that just means it, it places something in the HUD layout that you can position these separately than the others. Okay, now, here, here, I'll show you the other one. Enable expanded controls, again with cross hotbar 8. And th this and this is hotbar 8 left and right, is why I said earlier uh, where is that? Do not share cross hotbar 8. So, remember we have this hotbar 8 over here. I can hit L1, I'm sorry, L2, R2, and it goes to my hotbar 8. R2 and L2 to go to hotbar 8 on the other side. So basically, this is two different ways to come to the final conclusion, to the final it's it's two different ways to do the same thing. Either W cross hotbar, and you can show it or not. Whether you show the W cross hotbar or not, it still works, right? It'll still pop it up. So you, th again, that's a personal preference as whether you want more clutter on your HUD or not. Um. I enjoy having the expanded controls, and I have um, hold. I do not show any of this. All right. um, and I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to continue with another uh, tutorial about HUD setup right after this, about certain aspects in the HUD. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please let me know what you would like me to elaborate on. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Thank you.